Hi, I would love to talk about the Don't Say Gay Bill. I am the son of a lesbian, uh, we fought for marriage equality, and I also had to deal with the aftermath of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. I also lived through Prop 8 when I was in high school, which means that, um, I know some shit. Now, the biggest thing with Prop 8 was that it was legislation to ban gay marriages to help protect the kids and protect families. Am I not wrong? Well, here's the thing with that. Y'all didn't think about gay families. The, yeah, gay families. My lesbian mother's family's very existence was an affront to everything y'all stand for, I guess. When Don't Ask, Don't Tell was a thing, guess who they weren't thinking about? They weren't thinking about gay soldiers and gay military families. And with this new legislation in Florida that looks a lot like old legislation, by the way, um, they're not thinking about gay families! Like, how am I gonna go to this principal and be like, Hey, mister, I have two parents of the same gender. I can't really describe what their relation to each other are. They're friends. Who the f- what? How are we gonna allow legislation that looks eer eerily familiar and eerily discriminatory back into our books, back into our system? God damn it, you deserve better legislation as a country. We did not fight for equal rights or marriage equality just to be treated like second-class citizens again. Y'all, y'all should know better. We exist. We pay taxes. We fought for our rights. What did y'all fight for? You ain't fighting for shit. You're fighting each other about my existence when there's bigger shit going on. Come on, guys. Get real. Get with the program. When my family fought for marriage equality, you know, part of me knew that it would never be in history books. But God damn it, I didn't think you guys were going to erase me this fast. Shit. You know what's sad? We're going to keep fighting for you for a hundred more years and you're still going to treat us like shit. We're not free until we're all free.